Let's do this. Oh, I suppose I should put it on before we get started. Get that out of the way so people can see it. And then they can exit the stream if they want. Or the video. Let's take a look. Right now it is all symmetrical. Chainmail goes just past the back. I don't know if I want to go any further than that, but I think I'm going to flatten, you know, get this to be out here instead of, you know, going out like that. But let's take a look. Oh, yeah. And it kind of kind of does a little skirt thing. There's not a whole lot there to uh, you know flow, so I might might make it a little short or longer, but in this video I'm just going to I'm just going to I'm probably going to add some more rings and then uh, make it come down uh, like that. And then we'll see how that looks if I like it. Ah. It's gotten a little harder to handle this thing because the chainmail is like in the way of grabbing it. Oh shit. Grab some more rings. Oh, let's put some music on. Dang, that took a while to load. Hey. Nice to do quality check real quick. attention to whether it's up or not. Four more there. Let's 
five. Fine, awesome. Thank you. 
Pootuber, is that a key cat in a box? <laughs> How's it going?
just uh, just popped awake and saw your live. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of go live at weird hours. At least weird to the rest of the world. You got big plans for today? Kitty Cat Licks, impressive. You've got to get yourself an arts and crafts show or festival. Yeah, maybe one of these days when I've got, you know, a, a big enough inventory and stuff like that. Let's take, let's see the thing on. Here's all those big rings. Let's see, take a look. Big old chunky crown. And it probably weighs more than seven pounds at this point. And, uh, uh, oh, whoa, and it's not even close to done. I still gotta consider whether I'm gonna do the top and close the back. And, uh, how far down I want the chainmail. Because if I want the chainmail to go on my freaking, uh, shoulders, it's gonna add, like, uh, another two pounds. So by the end of this, it's probably going to weigh like 10 fucking pounds. <laughs> it's going to be a showpiece. And I got to do the face. But take a look at this. I have a really beautiful lamp. Take a look at this beautiful lamp. Right? It's really solid. Like, this thing is heavy. Like, really fucking heavy. And the stone is... You know, I'm sure the stone is uh, is got you know a big hole in the middle there, but still, I want to take off this top here and uh, um, uh, put a, a head on it, like a, a wooden mannequin head, and, and mount my he uh, helmet to the. So when I'm storing it, the chainmail will have the ability to just drape. And I won't have to worry about like uh, um, you know it damaging it or something like that. So hopefully in the future I'll have built a uh, um, a wooden mannequin head uh, and uh, uh, converted this thing into a, a display piece. Oh goodness! <laughs> Freaking between the weight of the mask and the thing, it tipped my chair over. Yeah, top heavy. Yeah, it moves my center of gravity to like my waist to like my nipples. Uh, so, um, you know, leaning over is problematic. Or wait, is it the other way around? I guess it would mean my center of gravity is lower. One link after the next. Yeah. Yeah, it takes that. That's what it takes, I should say. Oh, now where's my pliers? Do you, uh, I, I, uh, you know, aside from having any hand problems, um, you can do this. This thing is actually not as intimidating as you might see, it might seem. I'm just crazy and I'm able to, uh, in-visualize year-long projects if I have to. Where's my necklace? Well, here's something. Here's one of my pendants. And it's just a heady coil. It's just a heady coil um, wrapped around a, uh, you know, a, 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 what is this called? Oh, this is a rose quartz. And this is the exact same difficulty level as this. You know, you've got the heady coil just holding on to it kind of thing. There's also a, uh, there's also a, a line of 
rings, holding rings. But uh, I started out pretty small. Let's let's grab a small tree that I made a while back. Uh. This is what I started out doing. Stuff like this. Little trees. I wish my camera didn't suck so bad. It's got a little uh, amethyst orb in there. And uh, here's one here. Oh. I'm trying to give you a good angle here. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's a little beat up. Whoops. But uh, yeah, this is the sort of thing I started out uh, with. And, uh, you know, if you even see the feet, they're sharp, you know, so th this is very early work. <laughs> uh, and, you know, I think you just have to start somewhere, you know, whether it be making simple bracelets. Whether it be making simple bracelets or making braided bracelets like this. Come on. Come on. Stupid thing doesn't want to focus. Focus! Focus! Oh my god. Seriously, <laughs> that's probably the most frustrating thing I've ever had to deal with. There we go, nice and focused. So you can go from simple bracelets to these. Uh, uh, there we go, there's something simple. This is where you start out, right? This is... This was the beginning of this. So something that has really crude, you know, wiring, everything's really, you know, you wouldn't want to wear this because it's uncomfortable kind of thing. It might pull on your hair. Ah. <laughs> might not fit. <laughs> um, but, you know, if you dedicate yourself, you can, you know, uh, learn all the little things learning how to do the frame is one learning how to do you know it's a little loud come on learning how to do these braids learning how to do a heady coil learning how to do the you know setting the stones all of those little things turn into this and then you come up with your own stuff like i came up with the padded wire frame where I built an entire frame and then put wire uh, fabric around it and then I built a frame on top of that and uh, then I put magnets in it so uh, you can do a removable face so you know all these things they stem from tiny beginnings you just have to start somewhere I might have to do that mannequin before too long because uh, that would make this really easy to build masks. Pliers. 
Here's one of my favorite songs. All my music comes from a YouTube audio file, like audio library, and uh, I use videos or songs that uh, don't require, um, what do you call it? They don't require or they're royalty free or something along those lines and uh, it, it just makes it a lot easier to do live streams where I don't have to like list out every single song that I put up very convenient These are my uh, little finger fidgets that I somewhat invented a uh, while back. It's just nine big rings held together by 12 small rings. And uh, you just kind of fiddle with it. Stick your fingers in it and all that. Really easy to make. I, I highly recommend it to anybody who's addicted to fidget spinners. <laughs> I just kind of accidentally came out with it one day. In fact, I actually think I have a tutorial, even though it's very simple. I did find that garnet that I felt, uh, that I dropped. I fell. Thank you. 
There's a big old uh, mess. This is uh, this is actually pretty cool. Let's take a look. hear myself fit. So uh, this is the one I wear every day, right? And uh, and it's nice and simple. It doesn't attract too much attention. And so I really like this one. And one day I was kind of putting them together. Maybe I might make them, make them into one piece, but I actually can uh, just attach this one to uh, my daily wear and it transforms it into something really nice. And if I don't want it to be too formal, I just take that one off. And uh, this is the one I used to wear every day. This one's what I used to wear every day. Oh, okay. Oh, I think it's been adjusted for somebody else's head. I used to wear that one every day. Oh, dang, that's really dented. Dang. Jeez, look at that. Alright, it's alright, I'll adjust it later. Brian King made that knife for me. I don't know if anybody's familiar with Brian King. He's in the audit community. And it is a beautiful knife. In fact, I'll show it out real quick. I, uh, unfortunately, I didn't oil it like I was supposed to. So uh, it's a little uh, pitted. But before I ruined it, it was absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. So all that was me. I that that has oh what the it attached to the magnet. So it was really shiny, and then I messed it up by not oiling it. Now I'm getting my fingers all over. Uh, what the? There's like no oil on it anymore. Oh, I guess there is oil on it, but I shouldn't be touching it. Either way, it's a beautiful knife. Look at that, and then the handle. Is that that pin in there? Come on. Any ideas? Look at that. Really beautiful. And uh, this is resin. Holy shit, I almost cut myself. This is resin with uh, um, copper leaf in it. And he also melted some... Oh, shit, there is oil all over it. It's just... Oh, you know what? The sheath probably... I don't know, I guess wiped it off or something. But uh, I just got some coconut oil all over my hands now. Maybe I just have to oil it more often or something. Anyway, beautiful knife. T-Doggy, how's it going, man? You're driving? That's okay. You just make sure you don't kill anybody or yourself. <laughs> there we go and we're not really doing much today Tikagi. we're just finishing up the chain mail or not finishing up but working on it at the rate we're going I don't think we're going to finish what I, all I need to do Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, now my hands are all covered in oil. You know, I wonder, well, I guess I don't really want to get an infection by cutting my finger and getting oil in my fingers, but uh, I'm thinking if I just like constantly dipped my finger in oil while I'm making all this, then I wonder that might do really good to oiling up the thing, but I guess now that I've got fabric on it, it's a bit... Uh... Brian King is awesome. I miss him in the community. Well, man, I, uh, um, you know, he's he lives right in the middle of all that nonsense going on in New York. So, you know, if you're able to go show him some support, I'd go, uh, you know, I'd uh, go do that. Um, he's been making stuff, though, like knives. His latest knife looks really badass. I wonder if he minds if I show, uh, show you guys what it looks like. One second. There it is. Look at that. It's got that beautiful, uh, whoops. It's got that beautiful uh, Texas on the back there. Like, look how clean that is. Very pretty. And uh, so we got that color by um, doing the, uh, um, he heated it up in an oven for a really long time and it came up with that really beautiful blue there. So, uh, you know, if you're in for, if you're looking for a knife, I'd uh, hit up Brian King. Now that's a knife. <laughs> I'm from where he lives in uh, Rochester, New York. Oh yeah, how you? How are you doing? Is uh, uh, um, are you uh, faring well from all the nonsense going on? I know here in Dallas the shelves empty, but we haven't really had a lot of riots, if out, if if any at all. Well, I guess we might have had a couple riots, but they weren't. I guess they weren't really big riots. Dallas is, I would consider Dallas its own state. <laughs> well, in the great state of Dallas. It may as well be. I mean, it's got its own freaking Delta hub with a, a or not hub, but what am I trying to say? The uh, DFW airport has its own uh, zip code. That's the thing about states. You see how different the communities within them are. They could really just secede. Yeah, for real. They're faring well in Missouri. 
uh, I was in New York a couple weeks ago and filmed at uh, the DMV for uh, 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 oh check it out yeah I'll go check it out man in fact uh, let me make sure put you up in the what the can I not click on you anymore what I can't just go directly to your page anymore I thought I could just like left click you or something that's all right let me just put it up in the corner let's see here T dog with what oh okay Yeah, there we go. What? I'm, yeah, I'm gonna subscribe. Alrighty. Take all that goofy power away from the politicians. Yeah, jeez. <laughs> Yeah, it's a, it's been a pretty crazy, that's for sure. I don't know, I've been concentrating on more more on the uh, LGBT and the atheist communities as of late. I'm really trying my best to like discredit them as much as I can while I can, kind of thing. At least in Facebook and stuff. Really disappointed in my communities. Just put it over here. That's weird. My uh, comments aren't showing up on my phone. Oh, never mind. There they are. Can they change that. Kind of hungry. Dun, dun, dun. Ah, come on. Can't I get a good grip on this? Gotta have strong. Uh, gotta have a strong uh, stomach to go out and film the public these days. Too, uh, too dystopian. Yeah, I, uh, I did my fair share, or not fair share. Excuse me. Uh, I did a little bit of auditing, and uh, in the end, I really feel like I'm just not the right personality for it. I'm too uh, agreeable. <clears throat> But I will say, uh, uh, James Freeman just recently uploaded his uh, video of uh, our audit together, 
and um, I'm happy to say that the outcome of that was very positive in the end. Um, that uh, the lady that was upset in the video, she actually recognized me at work uh, uh, a, a, uh, not too long ago. So like years, maybe a, maybe one year at least since the incident. And um, she, <laughs> I wonder what I looked like when she <laughs> said who she was. I was like, um, hey, like, how are you? <laughs> like, 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 tell me what's going on. Like, how did that what happened with that you know and she was like everything went fine they the whole building got updated um i guess training if you call it that on um on public filming and that in the end overall she had a very positive experience from it she didn't get in too much trouble and and uh um and so that that was successful guys yay love, yay so, so that will also give us a little pause here to understand that even when we might seem to have failed, maybe we still succeeded in the end. We just didn't get to see a follow-up, you know. So hopefully that'll be a bit more encouraging for people in, in the future. I know it is for me. It made me double double think everything I thought about auditing. You know, instead of it being just a nuisance that's necessary to me, now I'm just like, well, shit, I guess I better start rooting for them again. <laughs> you know, like, uh, now they're not just like, I'm glad they're there, but oh my God, I don't want to be associated. Now I'm just like, well, I'm glad I'm there and I'm not too uh, embarrassed about supporting them anymore. So, But of course, I've been up and down, up and down, you know. I remember when... Um, I remember when... Johnny Five O. No, it wasn't Johnny Five O. I remember when. Oh man. Can't remember his name. Uh, California, Mexican, really famous for a long time. I don't know if he's still around anymore. Ah, I can't remember, but uh, he, the police had like, I guess, body slammed him or something, and hit, and it like ripped up his genital area, and uh, I know that one made me really upset. It like tore a genital uh, growing muscle or something like that. I know I got really upset with that one. And uh, it also turned out that most of my videos were just me walking and talking through the city anyway. It wasn't like I was doing a lot of audits. Um, so, but I think some of my favorite videos have to be the municipal buildings, for sure. I had no idea what a municipal building was for before doing this audit stuff. And uh, it turns out that it's there to provide you with all the information you need to make sure that your house is up to speed, that it's got regular maintenance, what kind of grass you should plant, uh, how high the grass should be to, when you cut it, uh, um, you know, what to look out for, like if your gutters are starting to pour over, then you should like fix that immediately before it breaks. Like the municipal building is there for the public. So I uh, I didn't know that before that, you know. You can also go to them to like speak your piece or whatever you whatever you call it. It's so funny too, cause like I didn't know anything about police or anything like that, uh, and so when I was asking that police chief that was so kind enough to. To come out and talk to me uh i asked her like what does pr crime prevention mean <laughs> and i'm thinking in my brain like keeping people like like catching people before they commit the crime and punishing them before they commit a crime and i was just like this uh, so how does that work and she goes well you know locking your doors and 
and you know keeping your purse uh you know keep uh, you know keeping all the valuables out of your car and stuff like that and i was just like oh <laughs> Oh boy, what the hell was I thinking? <laughs> I'm like, oh my gosh, so embarrassing. Too much fun. Well, it looks like we've, uh... oh, one more ring. So now there's plenty of flow, plenty of fluidity. It's not so tight anymore. And, uh, um, and I think I'm going to real quick, I'm going to attach this to the side here. Yeah, but how? Perfectus. Awesome. Yes, yes. I don't know why I did that. I'm just turning the mask. Oh, it looks like I missed a few comments here. What a strong time. Oh. I hear you, man. Some uh, collectives ain't what they seem. Yeah, for sure. I see here. Uh, you made waves. Oh, I, I, you know, James Freeman and I have a, a tiny history. Not not even a little bit of history. And uh, um, yeah, he's a pretty cool dude. I, I don't know uh, uh, if... I know I got uh, a little uh, somewhat against the uh, audit community at some point, and uh, hopefully I didn't, <laughs> hopefully whatever I may have said while I was upset uh, didn't upset him, so hopefully he's still cool about it. I've come to the conclusion that I change my mind so often on things that uh, I may as well just not, <laughs> not have an opinion on all the time. I'll tell you who I really respect. And that's uh, uh, Rick from Think, uh, well, I guess he used to be called Think Like a Cop. Now he's called Good Luck America. I think he does a really good job of the police accountability stuff. Or at least commentary on it. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. With his knowledge and experience... And he lives right next door, you know, or not next door, but he, you know, he lives really close to where I live. He's in my area. I guess that kind of makes it, you know. Freeman's the man, yeah. It's a little loud. I think this one's loud too. That'll work. Ouch. Man, some of these are so much stronger than they should be. 
or my hands are just not as strong as they should be. <laughs> That's probably more like it. It's going to be weird doing it the other way now. No, I actually might be able to say I've done enough chain mail. Uh, uh, what the hell? What's going on here? <laughs> Let me not finish what I was saying. Uh, to uh, I was saying that I was that was good enough to say that I. Ah, what am I trying to say? I've got enough history to say I'm pretty good at this while making a mistake. <laughs> okay, I was supposed to go behind this one. I like how you jammed the royalty free music. <laughs> Jokes on you, YouTube. I'm enjoying it. <laughs> I yeah, I think they're pretty good, you know. They got they get they do a good job of making that generic music. Oh come on. And don't get me wrong, I'm also really glad that it's there. You know, I uh, I like a lot of it. In fact, the music that you hear, any music that you hear on my, uh, on this playlist, it's a little loud, hang on. Gotta go take care. For sure, T-Doggy. Glad you made it where you're going safe. But uh, all the songs you hear on my uh, live streams are... Um, songs i've used in my own videos so i want to make some music of my own someday get my little g's harp and uh, uh uh make some jams and and do the jams while playing the video <laughs> Okay. I'll figure out music theory one of these days. I don't really have any experience at all in music, so I'll have to have my brother help me out with that one. Yeah.
What do you want to be when you grow up, Jimmy? I want to be a famous YouTuber. That's the stupidest idea I've ever heard. But you don't know what you're talking about. It's like I'll become the greatest YouTuber you'll ever need to see. Who has the most nowadays? Is that still uh, PewDiePie? That's really funny. really big sheet of this chain mail somewhere around here. I made uh, two big sheets of this. Uh, I think they call that Japanese style chain mail. It's got big rings and little rings uh, in a four grid. Uh, and uh, uh, made two really big sheets like a, I think it was either well, stretched out fully, it's like three feet by, well, probably two feet by five feet or something like that. I know it was almost as tall as I was. Ah, God damn it. Sometimes it gets really confusing as to what this next step is. What is going 
going on here. It looks right. I don't know what is going on here. Oh, look at that. So what is this then? Gotta hop off and catch some more Z's. Have a good night. For sure, man. It was good seeing you. Thanks for stopping by. Oh, no. And my internet might cut out anyway here. Oh, come on. Anyway, we'll just keep going until it finally cuts out for good. There's something screwy here. I don't know why it's giving me this crap.
you know, when things start looking like they're not, like they're not right, then, <sighs> everything looks fine, I guess I'll just leave it alone. Four more rows to go, and then it'll be symmetrical again. Thank you. 
right here. Somewhere there's like a messed up ring.
have just a little bit more to go. And then I think I might call it a night. Five, huh? <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me. Thank you. 
be two more. Oh, that's probably just gonna be. Okay then. I think we're gonna call it a night, but let's put it on my head. Well, I guess let's quickly. What the hell? Here they are. Let's quickly secure this. This is just a slightly thinner ring. I didn't realize they were all mixed up in the other rings. You know, I think I like that more. And there's so much more to give. Whatever. It's a, I'm, I'm at the end of the stream anyway. So uh, I actually kind of like it where it's uh, laying flat like that and that this little thing securing it is, I think, just enough to keep it from sliding back. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm glad you stuck around. I'm going to head off now. I think I'm going to get some sleep before I got to go to work in the morning. Not usually a work in the morning so yeah I was thinking I did too little on the bottom here but since it's going to be covered anyway it doesn't matter I guess see you later guys catch you in the next one and amazingly enough the stream actually lasted this long holy shit I'm actually ending the stream before it died night and night guys